Good afternoon. Out here at our property today, finishing up some work, some pre-winter stuff. Got our chimney all cleaned out. A few things to do yet, and uh, the wood stove will be ready. It's starting to get pretty chilly in the morning, sometimes down into the 30s here in northern Maine. So, uh, always looking forward to winter. It's one of my favorite seasons. But this is nice too, I like autumn with all the beautiful leaves on the trees and everything too. Um, I have a question for you. What has the U.S. government done for you, you, personally? I had to ask myself that question as we're approaching the another selection year. When we decide uh, which puppet to vote for. <laughs> um, <clears throat> you say, well... This is such an insulting thing. I mean, what has the government done for me personally? The government keeps us safe. I think that would be the number one answer I'm probably going to get in the comments section. The government keep, keeps us safe. What would we do without the government? Oh yes, what would we do? How about the uh, millions of the illegal aliens coming across the border? Is the government keeping us safe? I don't think so. Are they uh, checking to make sure that these people have no criminal background? No, they're actually letting gangs in. Organized crime is coming into America through the southern border and uh, our government's giving them money and Worse yet. They're actually now uh, making them into police officers So you have somebody that's here illegally going to force enforce uh, Laws and make sure people are living legally when they themselves are not living legally Okay, <laughs> that's a problem. How about uh, our same that same government that we have here? That's a uh, that keeps us safe why are they defunding the police and the military? Um, the BRAC thing, you know, base realignment and closure, I think it's called. Had a big Air Force base up here in northern Maine, Loring Air Force Base. It's closed. 1997, I think, was the year. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but I think it was 1997. Just close a strategic uh, air defense base. One that was built there because of Russia. And the Cold War. They could fly right up over the pole and go down into Moscow and, and bomb and whatever else. Um, closed. Hmm. Why? Why? Is our, our government's keeping us safe? Why did they close all these bases? Why are they defunding the police? Why are they uh, not giving as much funding to the military? Hmm. How about the 9-11? Uh, we passed a major anniversary here back on September the 11th last month. 2001 here we are what 23 years later a little over 23 years later and uh, if you believe the official story that came out from the government well then we had uh, a bunch of guys with box cutters Islamic hijackers with box cutters that took over a number of commercial airplanes four to be precise and uh, they slammed them into key structures and there wasn't a thing that the military and the Air Force could do about it so we are not protected um, from guys with box cutters. And I'm supposed to believe that this government, whom I pay taxes to, that they have my best interests at heart. That they are there to protect me. I don't think so. How about the war on drugs? How's that going? The war on drugs with uh, all the fentanyl coming from the, through the southern border. And all the uh, wars that we've fought and things to... Uh, go in strategically to the different areas where the drugs are grown, like the Golden Crescent and the Golden Triangle. Uh, opium production was very low in Afghanistan until our troops went in there. And oh, well, we have to kind of help them with their native crops and whatever. You can look it up. Marine uh, Forces Commander talking about how we have to go in and help them with the poppy production, the opium production. It's kind of a necessary evil until they get on their feet financially. This is how they make money here. Uh-huh. How about the uh, entertainment industry? You know, if it's wrong, it would be wrong for me to put out a video um, killing people or showing how to build a bomb, but they can do it in Hollywood all the time. Oh, well, it's just for entertainment, though. Uh, we have Americans living on watching people die as entertainment. Kind of like ancient Rome with the Colosseums. Just we have it in uh, digital form now. And we just, you know, people just, you know, children of today are raised not only watching it on Hollywood and through Hollywood movies, but then they go and they play violent video games and act it out. Hmm, 
that's not a problem. And you have, of course, the different music industry with uh, all the evil things and uh, singing about Satanism and, and um, I mean, genuinely, some of the real dark, heavy metal type of stuff out there. And you get into the rap music and talking about gang violence and, and um, shooting police officers and whatever else. And it's loud. As we defund the police, we have rap music that teaches to shoot police officers, and that's fine. This is somehow acceptable. Uh, that's a problem. How about the poisonous food, water, and drugs? Yeah, hydrogenated vegetable oil. I remember I did a study many years ago on the sin of gluttony, and um, hydrogenated vegetable oil, I did some research at the time, it's illegal in China, but we can have it here. A lot of things like Mountain Dew and, and things like that have hydrogenated vegetable oil. Very poisonous stuff. But that's okay, you can have it here in America. You can drink it and it's cool. You're super cool if you do. Just unreal. Remember uh, one of the most amazing things I ever heard, a YouTuber, and she said, natural health, you know, uh, woman into natural health and healing. And she said that, uh, Food in the, in the grocery stores, a lot of it is industrial waste. <laughs> You'll understand that if you do some research. It is genuinely art of, or, or, uh, industrial waste. The farming, the mining, whatever else. And they come up with ways to uh, put their waste products into food. To make the food more exciting. Excitotoxins. Study that out and... Uh, adjuvants in the uh, hokey pokies in the shoulder but our government keeps us safe right uh yeah not really doing much for us um in terms of uh what are they doing for me personally uh not very much and what am i given as a choice for this selection coming up well you have uh kamala harris who was raised middle class but then she's there and she has a uh, necklace on worth $62,000 while she's talking about being raised middle class. Uh, yeah, it just wears gold necklaces uh, that are, you know, more expensive than some people's homes. I mean, I paid $30,000 for my office for the ministry, so for her one necklace, I could have bought two offices and had, you know, 2000 left over, essentially. Absolutely insane. But Trump, Trump, he's, he's our guy. He's the real deal. Trump is uh, totally in touch with us as American people, even though he's a billionaire and he lives in Trump Tower and he's got all the Mar-a-Lago and all, all these other multi-million dollar properties, um, hobnobs with the rich and famous and whatever else. But don't worry, he's looking out for the little guy. He understands the plight of the little guy. It's not that he sold out or anything to bigger mon money interests or anything else like that. Not at all. And you know, that's just the two. The two that we have for the... Uh, presidential reality show here in America. What about all the congressmen and senators and all the other people like that? Do you really think any of them have any clue at all what it's like to be the average American? Hmm. You see, we have a new aristocracy here in America that was formed by usury. These people don't know how to work for a living. Um, they know how to steal for a living. They know how to take other people's money and invest it and reinvest it and make lots of money off of usury and all kinds of other things which the Bible condemns, but they don't care about the Bible. How about the uh, communistic indoctrination in schools and universities? How about that? That's another good one uh, that uh, tells me that my government doesn't care about me personally. You have a treasonous, traitorous type of philosophy that literally wants to destroy this nation being taught to the children in schools and universities. I mean, I went to a country school way back when I was living in Pennsylvania, brought up in Pennsylvania, and um, they were doing it back then. I graduated in 1994, and I still remember the, a lot of the communist propaganda, a lot of the anti-gun stuff that they put us through in our you know, social studies and whatever else. Classes like that. Just absolutely disgusting. And now it's 10 times worse. Now they're, they've gone so far as to tell children that they should question how God made them to be. Absolutely horrible. And oh, by the way, you need to sterilize yourself. We don't want uh, a lot of people being around to breed and make problems for us. 
So uh, not only are we going to destroy the nation, but we want to stop you from breeding. You know, the Bible warns about in the end times that there would be seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience seared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and committing to abstain from meats. This is exactly what they're teaching. And it's doctrines of devils. So you know what these public school teachers are in God's sight? They're devils. That's what they are, devil-possessed people. And devils are real. You haven't seen my one video on that. Last video I did. How about the endless wars that they just keep involving us in? Like the war in Afghanistan that lasted for 20 years, I think it was. And then what did we do? Oh, we just pulled out and we left all of our military hardware there. Hundreds of millions of dollars, probably billions of dollars, maybe even hundreds of billions of dollars. I don't even know what the figure was. No idea. But uh, $1 is too much to leave behind. But they did that. You know why? That way you can uh, arm your enemy so that you have a good enemy to fight in the future. America's been doing that for a long time too. Uh, I've talked about it in other studies. I've shown the proof from a history book on Vietnam, the Vietnam War. And um, they actually showed a man from the Office of Strategic Services, which was the, uh, there before the CIA. And during World War II, he was in Vietnam training the North Vietnamese soldiers with Ho Chi Minh so that we could fight them 20 years later in the jungles of Vietnam and have our guys got, get killed. Yeah, that's what they do. I don't know if you can see the little red apples on the tree back here behind me look really pretty. Really neat to see those little red apples there, wild red apples. Um, but that's Afghanistan. What about the war in Ukraine? Talk about an endless money pit there. I heard a guy say recently here that I think the number is somewhere around $175 billion that we've spent on a stupid war over there in Ukraine. And how much farther ahead are we? Well, the Ukrainian people, they've lost uh, several hundred thousand uh, soldiers. And there's still talk about, we'd like to send American troops over there, both men and women, because we have to go into the future, you know, have to advance into the future. And the way, only way to advance is to have both men and women fighting in the military. Not just in the military, but fighting, frontline combat, because that's always worked out in history, All right? And then, of course, we have the war in Israel right now. Uh, for, first, the, uh, almost a year ago, I think it's the 4th of October right now, and the 7th of October, uh, I had done a sermon on why Jews need to leave America, prophesying that the Jews are going to be pushed back to their land. And um, a few days later, they had the whole October 7th thing happen, and some bad stuff occurred over there in Israel. What's it going to be this year? Probably even worse. They just had their Iron Dome thing proven to not work. You can see the missiles striking the ground from Iran. And uh, so, so much for the uh, Iron Dome. This will keep us safe. Mm -hmm. No, it won't. No, it won't. Uh, American troops going to get involved? They already are. Just like they are in Ukraine. They just haven't told you yet. They're waiting for the right uh, pretext for war. How about debt slavery? Is our government really taking care of, of you personally, of me? Oh, they offer you debt slavery. We want to get you into debt. 70% uh, of gross domestic product is consumer spending in America. Spend, 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 let's go, come on, get yourself into debt. Be a good responsible American, have car debt, uh, mortgage, student loan, you know, cell phones and just, just perpetual debt. Uh, maxed out your credit card, then get another one. Why? Because that's how the system, system works. They can tax you and destroy you financially through perpetual inflation by printing more and more money. Inflation is not the result of greedy grocers or port strikes. Inflation is the result of a central bank that is uh, not controlled by the government. Uh, it's a for-profit bank. That's what the Federal Reserve is. It's not federal and it doesn't have reserves. 
again, I'm just grazing the surface of this whole thing. But you see, the, the fact is that I'm trying to say, uh, the government does not have our best interests at heart. And how about the thing of the theft of gold, silver, and copper? Gold taken away in 1933, silver taken away in 1965, copper taken away in 1982. They took all the precious metals away. Thankfully, a lot of Americans are going back to it now again. They're saying, hey, I don't trust the Federal Reserve and all the banking system. You had Bank of America just the other day. Their computer system went down and um, went down. And when it came back up, people's accounts read zero. That's what you want to see. Uh, a lot of guys are, I think Warren Buffett sold a bunch of stock in the bank, you know, Bank of America. Pretty good chance that it's going to crash. Hmm. Do you trust the government? What have they done for you personally? I mean, I, I, seriously, your government goon or some other type of person that you think the government's great and everything's wonderful, please tell me what good thing the government has done for us. Please tell me. You say, okay, you've proved your point, Brian. Uh, what do we do? Declare your independence. Start becoming independent. Realize that the government does not have your best interests at heart. Um, realize that the government is not there to help you. Realize that the government actually now is rogue, it's tyrannical, and it wants to kill you. Don't ever give in your firearms, right? Extremely important. Don't give in your guns. Don't give in your way of protecting yourself. It isn't about a war with the government or whatever. No, it's saying, saying hey, these people are tyrannical. I declare my independence. I'm not going to vote because it's pointless. I'm not going to go and I'm not going to try to be part of the political system. I'm going to get as far away from them as I can. And I'm going to try to raise my own food or go to local farms. I'm going to try to get away from their system. I mean, I realize I'm the full end of the, the spectrum, the other way of, you know, total independence. We live off grid. I, this is my land and whatever else. Um, I realize not everybody can do this. I get it. I'm not trying to push you into that. But what I'm trying to say is do something to be less dependent on the government. And especially what needs to change is up here. Your mind must change. You cannot say, hey, you know something? I trust the government. I think the government's pretty good right now. Best time ever in American history. No, it's not. No, it isn't. Um, so do something to get away from the whole government thing today. But I'm going to tell you the most important thing. There is someone who's far more powerful than this government who has done something for you personally. And I know that because he did something for me personally. And that is the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus died on the cross to pay for my sins, to pay for your sins. It's not about going to church or giving a 10% tithe or wearing your Sunday best or whatever. That stuff's not even in the scriptures. All right. Uh, nobody in the New Testament gave 10% of their income to a church building. Okay. There were no church buildings. There was nobody wearing Sunday best or anything else. That stuff is all man-made. Um, what you need to do is you need to realize going into very dangerous times where you're dealing with tyrants, you have to say, Jesus Christ is the true king, the king of kings and lord of lords. And I have God-given rights, which are unalienable. You can't put liens on them. You can't put laws on my God-given rights. I have a right of freedom of conscience, liberty of conscience. You can say it that way, the spirit of my mind. I have a right for bodily integrity. Nobody can come and tell me what to do or to put things in my body without my consent. And I also have a right to personal defense, which is my soul. That feeling, my soul feels this, I'm, my soul is very troubled. Personal defense, you get that, oh, I feel really bad, I need to defend myself. Okay, those are your God-given rights, the three basic God-given rights. And no government can come along and try to take those from you. Um, and you have to understand this. You have to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, and you have to have his true word, the King James Bible. I have lots of studies to prove that. A lot of idiots come out in the comments, oh, the King James this and again. I've answered all the questions. I've answered all the stuff and whatever else, okay? The issue is uh, the King James Bible is what gave Christians their freedom throughout American history, and it is the greatest Bible that ever showed up on this earth. Um, far more powerful than any original autograph, whatever else that people used, and then they eventually just fell apart. Um, the King James Bible will give you spiritual power. I know I've been in the spiritual warfare realm for a very long time, um, well over 20 years, and uh, it's very powerful. So uh, you can watch my other videos on that. Uh, you know, it's going to take you some time to study the scriptures and to really get grounded in the faith. 
you know, to get saved, understand what true biblical salvation is, get saved, and then start to live a powerful life. Uh, again, I've seen patriotic people that did not have a personal relationship with God, the Lord Jesus Christ. They didn't have a personal relationship with him, so they went against tyranny, and the tyrants won. Because, you see, it's Satan against Satan. Somebody that does not have Jesus Christ, well, they're the child of Satan. Whether you like that or not, that's what the Bible teaches. And so you have a child of Satan in the government goonie circles, and you have a child of Satan that doesn't, that's rejected Jesus Christ. They have no protection from the more powerful goonie, right? But when you have salvation, when you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, when you read and study the Word of God, um, then you have power. An old, there was a saying, I think Horace Greeley said the one time, it is impossible to mentally or socially enslave a Bible reading people. Exactly true. Well, we'll just do it, we'll just do it a secular way, then you'll lose. I will tell you, you will lose. The faith of the founding fathers of this country, and I don't mean the guys that signed the Declaration of Independence, I mean the people, the men that fought for independence in this country, they had a belief in the King James Bible. So incredibly important. You have to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. He does want to know you personally, unlike the goons in the government that don't care one bit about you. You're actually part of the problem that they want to get rid of. All right, so uh, get it straightened out today, and I pray that you watch some of the videos here. Not monetized, I don't make any money from people watching the videos. People feel led to, to donate to the ministry, fine. If not, you can watch everything for free. Doesn't cost you anything. All right, just that simple, I'm not after your money. All right, I want freedom. I want liberty. And the only way to have that is to have a personal relationship with the man who created everything. God manifest in the flesh, the Lord Jesus Christ. That'll be it. Thank you for watching.